Just because they look new doesn't mean they're good. I've been fooled before with new parts worn out. Holy heck, look at those tires. They scrubbed right off on the inside, feathered to the edge. We got ourselves a toe problem. Oh, and a little bit of camber by the look of it. Now you can check your toe with a tape measure going from a common part of the tread to the other side. And compare it to the back side here. I use the inside of the sidewall. Oh, she's towed out pretty bad there, eh? Nice overflow bottle. They didn't use them back in the day. They just spit it on the floor. You can check your tie rods with a squeeze test. If they don't move, then they're good. Same with the idler arm and this connecting tie rod at the pitman. Or drag link. It goes by a few names. You might call it he, she, they, them. More like a drag queen. Whoa, look at this hind joint. Dressed up like a sway bar link. I'm going to measure the ride height. We'll compare side to side. They're adjustable. Low on the drivers. And we'll compare it to the body. Looks like somebody set the ride height to the body on this one. From the fender down to the center of the wheel. It's okay to do this on a unibody, but this one's got a frame, so you'll want to be measuring frame height. That'll keep everything happy, because your control arms are hooked into your frame pockets. Picture your control arms in an arm wrestle. Passenger and driver's side, against each other. Perfect match. Just like Stallone and over the top. Slides his fingers up over the top and slams his opponent. Hey, you know, when I turn my hat around like this, it's like a switch, you know? The control arms aren't moving around in the same arc, and so the forces aren't opposing each other anymore, and one's going to shove the car over to the side. And that's bump steer. That's no fun. Now we got it jacked up under the control arm here to check the ball joints. In and out on the top and bottom, side to side for your tie rods, round and round rear wheel bearing. It'll be growling at you to stop spinning around so much if it's bad. Now this thing's got a little bit of play up here I can feel. You gotta avoid some safety rules here and stick your finger in some pinch points if you want to get some good diagnostics. Just don't put your pecker where you'd put your finger. Those are some angry springs. Kicking the face of the good. They're variable rate coils. Uh, they got some small coils for soften and big coils for biggins. A little bit of both worlds, you know? It swings both ways. A lot of people forget to look at the back ends of these things when they're doing alignments. Even the dealerships. They're checking your trailing iron bushings like this. Rock your tire back and forth, feel for play. You can use your hand or pry bar again here and pry around. I'm going to fix the toe in with my handy little toe tool here. Works real slick sometimes. Sometimes uh, you just can't get it in there. Spit on but, it. So in those cases, you just uh, use your hand. But you got to be stronger than the rest. We've got 60 seconds to align this thing. Wow, check out all the gauges and switches, man. It's like flying an airplane in there. Got your speaker box. There you guys, fuck off, get out of here. I got another job to do. Don't ask me where the sound went. Should have been a parts guy, man.